Okay, hear me out. Do you like Slay the Spire? Well, now you can lay the spire. Do you like Monster Train? Well, now's your chance to run the train on the monster. Listen, this game is actually pretty good. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. I picked up this game last year, probably for a recommendation for somebody who was like, oh, hey, you like Slay the Spire? like like games. Like, I was playing Monster Train a lot. Uh, I was playing uh, one of the Steam uh, Steam Punk World or Steam World uh, games uh, also. And you know, all these are kind of these like deck builder, card, you know, turn based uh, type uh, type games. And, you know, they're just they're just they have a good rhythm to them. I like, you know, the kind of the, the whole like deck building thing, the randomness of like, you know, every time you start, you have all these different uh, all these are variables that make each run unique. And I, you know, I, I'm just kind of into them. And so, you know, it's been a while since I've touched one and I'm going through my list of just like games I've never played. And I'm like, what is this last evil? And I remember, I, I remember I did pick this up last year and I just never played it. Uh, and I'm glad I, I had a chance to play it recently because like, it is actually really good. Now I, I know, I know, I know, I know it. This is definitely a hentai game, right? Like this is, this game is, uh, it takes a, an existing game that is popular, like Slay the Spy. Uh, and it makes a hentai version of it um, but it does it really 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 well like like really well uh, now there are gonna be some elements of this that I may have to edit uh, for example I have her dressed I actually had to use the mod manager the low left corner you can see that uh, in order to um, give her a Santa suit <laughs> <laughs> but there, there may be some like flashes of nudity here and there and all that. So that's just the way the game goes, right? Um, but there are some scenes that are pretty explicit, so I might actually edit those out completely. Uh, there is a filter that will remove mature content, but it doesn't capture everything. Like for example, there's a scene where like you heal up uh, at a rest area. And to heal, she basically masturbates. Uh, I would consider that mature content, but the game apparently does not. So. <laughs> <laughs> While everything else is cut out, <laughs> that part is still there. But if you, <laughs> I think that's just something that the guy missed and maybe he's gonna come back later and fix it. Uh, there's a gallery, right? So as you unlock these scenes, because you know, as a succubus, you are gonna be uh, using your sexuality in order to uh, in order to make headway in this game. Um, and so you, there are scenes where you are, you know, there are these uh, uh, more sensual scenes that occur <laughs> while you're playing. Um, but, uh, and those things are visible in the gallery if you would like. Uh, but there is a customization feature and, you know, this is, this is about on par. We're going to zoom in a little bit because the, the, uh, jiggly physics on, on the clothes are really, 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 really flappy, I guess you could say. Um, so if I adjust the breast slider, her skirt lifts up, <laughs> like it flaps all over the place. So, uh, so here we go. So yes, there is, there is a breast slider. You can adjust it however you like. We'll keep it, you know, nominal. Um, there is also some uh, face sliders here. You could adjust her hair if you like. And there's a number of different hair things you could do. So you can get kind of crazy with it, right? Whatever you like. <laughs> Titties is all over the place. Uh, so, you know, whatever your thing is, you go for that. You go front and back, which I actually thought that was pretty cool. I was like, oh, wow, front and back. That's pretty dope. Like, that's a great way to create, like, a whole bunch of different uh, styles. I, I was just thinking back to the MMO days. It's like, whoa, <laughs> like, that's a really thing. Why did they think of that a long time ago? There's a million different uh, uh, color combinations you could use for her hair, for actually, actually anything if you want. So if you want to go purple hair or something, you could do that. Uh, woo, 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 woo. Uh, you can uh, adjust the color of her eyes. You could adjust the, the type of eyes that she has. So, for example, if I go we'll give her one red eye, and then we'll give her one, uh, just the cornea here, one blue eye. There we go. And then we can go through and it could change uh, this to various. Now, there's mods you could download again. Uh, you have to use a separate manager for it. He hasn't quite figured out how to link it into uh, uh, into a Steam. There, there is a Steam Workshop, but he hasn't quite figured out how to work that in. Uh, let me see the iris. I mean, this is gonna. Oh, this is the center part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's do this. There we go. I can make it look crazy looking. Uh, blacks there. There we go. So I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff you can do. We gotta be careful here. Um, we gotta keep the lower half covered. Uh, yeah. There's a good color. You see, see how it's flapping like crazy? See how I was talking about? Look at this. Uh, horns. You change the horn color. I mean, we can make this basically a color you want. Make a neon color. This is gonna be just a mess. Absolute mess of a. Uh, <laughs> A color scheme totally ruining my vibe man i had a good look going for my uh for my succubus there we go give her some of these enable that what is that for tail well we'll look at the tail later i guess wings although i do think the wings could be a different color they're a little too hot red 
you know, but I mean, we're just gonna make up some dumb color right now, of course. Of course, of course. Just so you can see. God! <laughs> There's different outfits and such, but we're not gonna mess with the outfits. Let me use the bar here. Uh, dress, top, bottom. Was this actually, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, snap. So we can make, like, kind of a sexy dark Santa. Okay, that's like Vanta Black Santa. Holy crap. That's like censored bar Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's, I mean, it's a lot of stuff you can do. We'll leave, we'll leave the Santa thing alone, or will we? Hold on a second. No, maybe we won't. Maybe we won't. Let's get let's get crazy. Oh man, this is gonna be just a mess. See, there's not there's absolutely nothing sexual about this outfit at all, at all. Lord, Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Medals. What are the medals? Probably, I guess, like her nipple rings or something like that. We can't really see them, so we'll make them like uh. Nice little baby blue. Ba Bam! Cool! And then I think that's it. So, uh, yeah. A character customization is pretty wild. It's pretty wild! We'll accept that. <laughs> She's just a mess. Now, this is gonna be probably- this may be a long video, I'm not sure. Um, it, it really just depends on, like, how well this- this run goes. Uh, I have a previous game. I have a previous game? Uh, well, we're gonna go new just because I wanna show you guys um, oh, that's right. I did do I do I did a couple and I was like, you know, what? I know this game well enough I think I could go and explain it to you guys um, So again, I do have a lot of stuff that is uh, That's to see enable mature. So we're gonna disable mature content uh, I see skip via yeah, skip viewed mature scenes. This is actually pretty handy and like if you're like, listen If you're gonna play this game to like watch the sex scenes and that's fine Like you leave all this shit on whatever, but if you're trying to play it to uh, if you want to experience the scenes or like watch the scenes at least once that way you know you unlocked it in the gallery, because unlocking in the gallery unlocks more outfits. So maybe it's a good way to keep track. Um, then you could have this so it's like, uh, so you'll see when you have a new one. Which is kind of handy because at the end of every match, at the end of every uh, battle, there's usually a scene, right? And you'll see why in a bit. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have skip viewed scenes even though we have mature content turned off, which means you won't see them at all. Uh, come inflation, this is, um, <laughs> Jesus. I mean, this is some real hentai shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you collect what's called essence, uh, which is basically um, uh, sperm, uh, she will actually, her belly will inflate like slowly, and it's really weird. So, I mean, that's turned off. Uh, <laughs> and then will four animation for temptation. I'm not sure exactly what this does because when you turn off a, a mature content, like that pretty much, like the temptation part goes away. Temptation is, um, let me go ahead and get out of here. Temptation is when you, um, seduce somebody and you could basically take them out of the game for three turns uh but if if you're if the mature filters on or whatever off and you have all the adult content turned on uh she you will basically like you know sleep with the like fuck the guy like you know in the middle of battle which is really awkward when it's the only person in battle because you can't attack them so you're basically stuck for like three like three <laughs> uh turns just basically watching Watching them have sex, and it's like really awkward. <laughs> but if you turn that off, if you turn off the uh, the mature filter, you'll just basically zoom right through it. It's really kind of nice. Uh, <laughs> so uh, there is uh, there is some talent tree here, and you get talents as you as you play. You get more XP, etc., etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um, now I have um, I have uh, a bunch of them dumped into here, so I could do what is this? Uh, every time you kill an enemy, you gain one mana. Now you can reset these at any time, which is really nice. So if you get once you get to a certain point where you can unlock all the way down to like one of the bottom tiers here and get down to like increase max mana by one, uh, which is actually also really handy. Hold on a second, let's see. First damage taken from each battle is reduced by two. That's pretty sick. Uh, increase instead of uh, extracting essence, you can restore HP. It's also really handy because you might max out essence sometimes. Looking for a place to spend it. Uh, change plan when ending your turn. Gain one shield for each spell in hand. Uh, and then increase max. That's actually wow. This is actually a really good tier. Hold on a second. Let's reset this real quick. We'll try this. So uh, increase max HP. Sure. This is gonna make the game run much longer here. Let me see. Uh, I guess this game. Yeah. Sure. Let me do this. And then instead of extracting essence, you can try XP. Yeah. And then one, two, and then three. Increase max mana by one from the get go. That's really nice. Uh, you have the option to remove a spell from your deck. Uh, actually, this is a good opportunity to go over some of the spells. Uh, if you played any. Any like deck builder kind of game like this, like say Aspire, Monster Train, or any of the other multitude of them. Um, 
then you're pretty familiar with some of the basics, right? You have protection spells, you have damage spells, the cheap ones that just, you know, that you have like four of each or a handful of each. Uh, then you have debuff spells, you have, um, and then you have uh, 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 buff spells, but also have a downside, right? So there's a positive negative relationship there. Uh, that's like this right here, gain shield 10, but but uh, gain one weaken. Weaken basically means that you do 25% less damage on your next turn. Um, this is uh, attempts to target for two turns. If it fails, inflict two focusing on target. This is the temptation thing I was telling you about um focusing just means that you do 25 percent more i think it's 25 percent more damage uh to the um uh to that to that person or to the enemy uh for two turns right so when it says like one weekend or two focusing or three whatever it doesn't necessarily mean that it does that much damage um it just means that it lasts for that many turns now bleed i think is the the uh the uh exception to that where i think bleed the more stacks you have the more bleed gets done uh but it diminishes over time so if it says bleed nine then it's going to do nine damage but then the next one it's going to do eight damage and then seven damage. i believe that's the case i've only played with bleeds two like a handful of times uh but i know in certain in other games it does function uh similar to that um so in this case, we're going to get rid of uh, Magic Missile, actually, because well, one of the biggest problems that you have is just staying alive. And so uh, so this is your map layout here. It's procedurally generated, of course. Uh, this first fight is going to be an enemy. It's probably a blob or it's going to be like a human or something like that. Uh, and then you have um, uh, a couple question marks here. This is, this could be an event or this could be an enemy. It could be basically anything. Now, you can only see a couple of steps ahead of you. Uh, so seeing some, a couple steps ahead of you means that you need to... Um, it gives you an opportunity to kind of plan your course of action. So once I, once I get here... And I clear this one I'll be able to see what's here and what's here if there's like a champion here or a boss here maybe I'm not ready for that I can start going south and try to explore that way so let's go two slimes all right now we'll say that the um the oh, I didn't really get a whole see a three three so it's like three damage three damage I'm, I'm explaining a lot of this stuff if you guys are like new to the genre here uh like maybe you guys are into hentai and you're just like you know oh maybe this is a good way to get into these card based games uh <laughs> I've never played Slay the Spire, but I'm going to go ahead and play this, right? Uh, I'll go ahead and explain some of the basics as we go. Um, let's see, so uh, right here just tells you that it's, they're preparing to attack, and they're going to attack me for three, and they're also preparing to debuff. Now, in this guy's case, they, they inflict weaken uh, whenever they attack, so uh, that's why there's two different symbols here, the sword symbol and then the debuff symbol. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cast mana buff, or uh, a mana shield here. Uh, that's for five, but they're going to do six attack here, so I want to go ahead and pack, cast another one here, just to make sure that they can't get through that. Now, they're still going to do a debuff, so they're still going to apply a debuff, so that's going to suck. Um, and there's no real point to playing anything else because it's all going to go into your card graveyard here. Card graveyard just basically means it's at the bottom of the deck. If you play Uno, you know that's like it goes inside of the underneath the deck so you don't get to pull it again until you shuffle the cards uh, and then you'll deal another hand. Um, and uh, let me see. Da -da -da -da. So now, now they've inflicted weaken on me. So now I'm weakened. Um, see, frail targets reduce shield gained by 25%. So I'm frail. So yeah, I got some debuffs on me. So so listen, now it's 12 damage coming in. So this is where I got to decide. It's like, okay, how do I want to approach this? Do I want to do damage to them and weaken the target, which is going to reduce the amount of damage they do like this to four. And now this is going to be to four. That's a zero mana card, right? So I have four mana over here to spend. Remember, I, I, I increased that by one. It's usually three. Um, so, that, so now it's increased to four. I play two zero mana cards. I can still play all these cards if I want to, but I don't necessarily need to play like I'm not gonna play this one and give myself weakened again right uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, hit this guy with this hit this guy with this oh you know what though hmm four four hmm I should do the play safe here yeah we might as well do that just to make sure I don't take any damage you really really want to manage your uh, health uh, by playing a lot of uh, there's not a lot of heals in the game Right? There's only usually per map, like per level, uh, there's only uh, two areas that you can restore your health, um, and that's a whole nother story, boy. I can't wait to get there. Uh, and let me see, three, three, and then chill. So I'm gonna chill one, and I should kill one. Good, and I still have plenty to put some mana shields up, so that's good. Um, so you really want to manage your health like there's no like uh, there's a couple of different perks you could pick up like upper left corner here it's like I got nipple rings right so every two turns I gain one lust um, we'll explain less in a minute but uh, you know there's some perks that will give you like three health at the end of every battle or something but that's only three health <laughs> per battle too so yeah it's not really something that's not the most reliable way to uh, to make sure that you stay healthy <laughs> All right, I'm still weakened here, but just because this guy's attack every single time. But we can remove. There we go. 
Okay, well, of course, I have like hardly any damage stuff. There's a quick way that you can actually see. Uh, if you hold on shift, it'll show you the E space one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't use the number keys, but at the very least, it's easy just to pick up a card and hit E. And it's Q W E usually. I've not fought any more than three guys at a time. So uh, here we go. This is cool. So we have a number of different cards here. That do all three different things. I'll explain all of them. Okay. So in Chaos Seed is a six to four ratio positive to negative uh, effect. Uh, positive meaning for you, the player, right? Negative for the bad guy. You can only cast this on an enemy, and when you cast it, it could do damage, and it could do anywhere between, like, I've seen, like, 2 damage and 14 damage, or it can heal them, and I've seen the same range. Uh, I've seen it give them buffs. I've seen it give them debuffs. It is a Chaos Seed by name. It's, it, it really plays up to its name. It's useful to use at the beginning of a fight. Um, the Orgasm, because if you heal them, then it's not that big of a deal. Uh, orgasm basically gives you, um, you play it, and then you get another card in your deck that does more damage. The more you play it, the more that you get, you know, the, the more damage you get from these cards. And they use a different currency. They don't use mana. They use uh, lust. And lust is spent at the end of every match. Like it doesn't, it doesn't carry over. You earn it as you as you play. But you can. Um, uh, Expend. Oh, wait, does it carry over? It might carry over, actually. Um, but you can expend it by, uh, uh, well, I'll show you in a second here, in order to get Essence. And Essence is the currency you use in order to uh, uh, buy new cards that you want. You want to you want to basically earn Essence, really, is what you want to focus on. Uh, let me see. And also to pay for, like, like super heals. Like, you could get basic heal at a rest stop, or you could get, like, really good heals at a rest stop. Uh, let's see. Gain 3 power. This is basically increases the damage output for, three like, three turns. Um, so I'm gonna go and go with Orgasm here because that's a pretty nice card. So here we go. Collect Essence or Extract Essence. Uh, so losing all Lust, again, yeah, th I think that does mean that it doesn't, uh, oh, look at Drink Essence. Well, well, Drink Essence, oh boy. Uh, can you figure out what Essence is on your own? <laughs> We've already kind of explained it. Um, so I can heal for one using one Essence. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and collect Essence, uh, lose, uh, lose all Lust in order to collect this Essence. And uh, usually right here, I'll cut to a scene where you're like literally having sex with a blob. Like, not even kidding. Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, oh, cool. So we have a, um, uh, we have, see, so you have found a marvelous structure. You have no idea what its purpose is. Yeah, I told you guys it'd be a little bit of nudity. You can't, can't, can't get rid of it all. Uh, let's see. So scout tire built modern locations. So this is going to improve one random spell or get to know the overall structure of this floor. So this is kind of handy. Uh, we can improve one spell. Oh, and you, you don't get to choose. Obviously, this is random. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and collect this because this will kind of speed up our, uh, our, our video here. Wow. Awesome. So now we can see everything. And this is very, very handy. Because see, if I had gone south, it would have been... Kind of a trip here uh so we're gonna go north and come around we're gonna get there's two merchant stops here uh there's a rest here and there's a rest we might actually get this we'll see how far we get actually but um yeah this is pretty good pretty good uh did it just play this one again oh interesting yeah i just got this one twice now this same square uh let's see forget a spell change one spell improvement one spell let's go ahead and do that improvement spell we're gonna improve uh let me see Damage. Yeah, this is a free card that we could get. Pretty good improvement. This actually increases to eight, I think, if we do this one. Yeah, eight. That's a good one. That's a good one because, uh, you know, sometimes you just need that extra little bit of shield. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I think it just... Oh, no, no, I went left. That's right. Duh. I went left and there was one to the right as well. Okay, so this guy, one human, seven. So uh, we're going to... We have one lust. And then we're going to play this just to do a little bit of damage off the, off the top here. And then uh, he's going to do seven, so we can just do this. And then really everything else is kind of a wash. Let's let that go. Aim shot. I don't know if this guy does any debuffs. I can't remember. Let's see. So weaken, weaken, basically free damage cards. And then he's going to do five damage. So we'll play at least one of these for himself. And then boom, boom, boom. This is going to be a fast fight. Done. Done. Let me see. Deals five damage to all enemies. I don't have to explain that. Draw three spells. I don't explain that. And basically, shall don't explain that either. Cool. See? See that? We're already getting past the point where I have to explain things. Pretty nice, huh? One HP again. That's it. Wow. Surprised. Now, it will increase. But about how much? Who knows? Okay, here we go. Oh! So, yes. Sometimes you get a Mimic. Um, I have not yet had the opportunity to have sex with a Mimic. mimic. I thought for sure that would be an option. But, uh, no. <laughs> it's just not a thing, I guess. Um... Maybe, maybe I just got unlucky the last time I played. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see, he's got to do five times two damage. Oof, that's a, quite a bit. Uh, I could play this and this just to help that without playing this. Obviously, I don't want that weekend. 
Okay, now I have one last, but I don't have that card. Draw three spells. Let me see what we get. Orgasm. Perfect. Deal some damage. Uh, let me see. He's gonna do one times five, so just one mana shield will do the trick there. We'll also play this. And I have two more to spend, so I'm gonna go... Let me see. We'll do this. Weekend, and then boom. Boom. 50 yet. 50 health. Quite a bit. Uh, let me see. Chill. Let's play this first. Mana shield. Hmm... Okay, he's gonna be sometimes two, so God we got that. Hmm. I'm gonna spend all this just to basically keep my health up here. Oh, and increased. Whoops. I forgot that I have that uh increase your armor by how many cards you have uh left over. I gotta remember that. I gotta count cards now. Dang it. Deal ten damage. Yeah, see this card's starting to increase in value. And then once we get another one, which I think probably got thrown in, fifteen damage. Look at that. So yeah, th there's a lot of really good mechanics in this game. This is not Yes, this this is definitely a hentai game for sure, um, but <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> it's a brand new sentence for me. <laughs> yes, it's a hentai game, but uh, it's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna do a buff here, so prepare to enhance. So he's preparing to amplify. So we're gonna go ahead and do whatever we can to weaken, and then hit him with everything we have, and then he's probably gonna die to nothing. Until we get, I really want to play that 15 and see if the next one's 20 or if it goes up even more. Anyways, here we go. Dead. And we still get what's inside the chest. Naturally. The field of view is widened by one. Oh, this is the most useless, most useless perk we could have possibly. There's nothing else more useless than this because we've revealed the whole map. This is more useless. This is, this is going to be useful in the next level, but we're not going to get to the next level here. Not today. <laughs> I'm just showing you guys one run. Well, well, well sorry, one one level. Uh, let's see, alchemy elixir remove all wounds. I don't have any wounds. Tranquilizer recovery to lose for lust. Okay, so I don't necessarily have. Was a leaf? Yeah, we don't need this. You don't need a potion yet. You can go back on your way yet, but we don't think we can return. Another chest. Let's see. At the start of each combat, draw two additional spells. Dope. That's pretty good, especially considering they count as uh, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, armor. Mm hmm Come on. Back to lobby. Let's go. So we're gonna make our way down here. We'll do uh, this fight, the rest, the merchant, and then we'll go to the boss. Nice. We'll just beeline right through this. Let me see. A kidnapper and a kidnapper. Okay, so this is gonna be 12 damage coming in. So first, first let's have an orgasm. Of course, of course. All right, 16 damage coming in. Um, let's go ahead and uh, prepare for that. So we'll do this. And then this, and then this. This will take care. Oh, well, we also have some cards. We're gonna, we're gonna actually be playing through. Oh no, we'll still have a couple cards left over. So yeah, we'll be three more going on top of that. I guess we could have played one more. Yeah, we could have played one more uh, magic missile or whatever. Let me see. Four and weekend. Uh, we'll play this one of each just to kind of mitigate that a little bit. That's one gonna be eight damage coming in. Uh, we still have to play two of these though. Uh, might as well go ahead and play this. See what we get. Let me see. Magic missile. Magic missile. There we go. Uh, I haven't lost any health. Look at that. I'm just cruising this thing. Uh, let's see one. Mmm. Let's see. Let's almost kill a guy. And then we'll do this. Yeah, because he's going to do six damage. So we could just play this to repair that and then, or to negate that. There we go. I'm not used to having that cards equal uh, armor thing. That's something you have to get used to, because I'm just used to just like playing the cards to get the armor I need, and then just wiping the wiping the hand, and that's it. Wiping the hand, boy. Some of the some of the lines, some of the lines. Let me see. Uh, let's see six and it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and play. Let's play chill. So he's gonna do four damage. So I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can play basically anything here. Uh, magic missile, magic missile, magic missile. And then, God, I wish I had one more damage card. One more damage card. All right, let's play. And the rest goes to the stacks. Orgasm. Oh, man, 15. Too bad it doesn't tell me what the next card is. All right, let's see. Uh, deal st Oh, here we go. Some bleeds. Yeah, let's get some bleeds. Let's see, gain nine, shield nine, and draw one. Hmm. Nah, bleeds are pretty dope. If we could get a lot of bleed cards, like, we'll be in good shape. Like, real good shape. Squirt right in the middle. Squirt. <laughs> Now we need we need to get a good amount of uh, of essence built up here before we go and visit the shop. So hopefully we can get some between this, the champion that's right below us, and then uh, uh, and then yeah, hopefully that's enough. All right, let's see. Uh, he's gonna be for five, so we're gonna negate that right away with just one of these guys, and then we're gonna hit him with this, and then with this, and then with this, and then the rest, whatever. 
four, and he's also gonna buff himself. So let's see. First, play the bleed card. Do this. So now he's gonna bleed for a little bit. Uh, I'm guessing. We'll see if it's if it's five or four after this turn, then we'll know. And then and then it goes down to four or three on the next turn. That we'll at least we'll have, we'll know understand how that bleed mechanic works. Uh, so yeah, three damage, whatever. And then you might as well see if there's some free in here. Nothing free. Okay, should play that first. Um. Oh, I missed it. How much did he lose? <laughs> I was not paying attention. See, that's the problem with me, man. Uh, all right, so dead and then dead. They just die too fast, man. Die too fast to learn. Let's see another bleed. Yes, that one's a good one. That's uh, uh, that's if they if they take damage, then you gain, then they gain bleed. I think, right? Is that what that one is? That's my deck. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. This is just an upgraded version of this one. Uh, there's another one that whenever you do damage to a mob, then they'll they'll gain a stack of bleed or something like that. And that one's pretty good. That's a really good card. All right, champion. Here we go. This is going to be a tough fight. So one, two, three. Um, this guy's going to buff, or he's going to debuff me. And then you got two coming in that's going to that's going to uh, do damage. So um, I have an uh, opportunity here to cast two shields. I could negate a lot of this, but just by casting shields and then... Oh, wait. Let me see. I mean, one man, one card, one, sh one five shield. That's obviously worth... Yeah, here we go. So we'll play two of these, and then we'll play um, bleed on you. Bleed on... Actually, no. We'll stack the bleed. Uh, let me see. And the rest is going to go towards my shields here. So he's at 38 health. Ah, now he's at 29 health and it's down to 8. Okay, cool. So yeah, it's going to degrade over time, it looks like. Let me see. And this is just basically, when you build up Lust, it's a free card. Now, uh, you want to build up Lust if you have a lot of Lust, like, fo uh, currency or focus cards. Uh, because, you know, that's, oh, wow, there's a lot of damage coming in. Holy shit. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. We need to manage this a little bit. First, let's go ahead and weaken you and you. Uh, that's still a lot of damage coming in. 18, 24 damage. Holy shit. Draw three spells. Okay, we got man and shield. Okay, I can negate, uh, all, all of this. And I think I will. One, two, and then three, and then one, two, three. Almost all of it. Oh yeah, that's all of it right there. Woo, man. Oh, let's see. Um, stack more bleeds on this guy. He's going to bleed out pretty quickly, which is the plan. Chilled this guy. Seven. So now I have 13, 19 damage coming in. Um, play this. See if we get a better... Oh, we could chill somebody else. Let's chill this dude. Let's chill this guy. Bigger number. Bigger reduction. Let me see. So I see I have five, ten, did an injury. I'm not gonna negate all of it, it looks like, yeah. Oh, he died. He died, so yeah, I do. Yeah, I forgot the damage takes uh before they actually take a swing, so cool. Uh let's go ahead and uh play this. We'll chill this guy. And we could easily negate that. Magic missile. And then uh stack another bleed. Cool. Here we go, here we go. Now, sometimes these mobs can summon other dudes. This guy is not one of them, I don't think. He hasn't done it to me yet, so... Um, but boy, is that annoying. Indicate some of that damage. And then, let's see, infuse. So the lust builds up every... If you notice, it, it builds up every, uh, every, every hand, right? Um, that you get another lust, I believe. That's what the, what the, what the rate is. Uh, so you want to... Again, if you have a lot of lust-based cards, then you're going to want to build that up. Uh, and spend that, because some of those cards are pretty powerful. All right, let's see. Uh, mana shields. Let's see, seven, six, thirteen. Uh, let me see. Yeah, might as well see. Here we go. This and then this. Actually, I don't have to do that yet. Let's play these other cards. We'll stack another. Oh, that guy's gonna die soon. We're gonna do that anyways. Mm, wait, hold on a second. He'll die before the next hand. And then uh, that should be enough for me to negate this. So he's gonna die. Good. Negate that. And then uh, now he's focused on this guy. Weekend, let's get another three spells in here. Let me see. Another weekend. Just gonna keep stacking that. Uh, he's gonna debuff me anyway, so he might as well just hit him with whatever. Don't worry about shields. Okay, what do you hit me with? Uh, focus. So yeah, here it is. Darkets take 50% more damage. So a seven. It's already calculated here, by the way. Um, let me see. So another. 
A bleed, another bleed. Uh, we're gonna have to orgasm. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, we could play both mana shield and this. Cool. Cannot be touched. And then he's gonna die right now anyway. So might as well orgasm this guy. <laughs> the mistress. Ooh. Got another another achievement. I'm actually um, like like probably 75% through all the achievements. Uh, random effect on target. God, I almost want to get that just to show you guys how chaotic it could be. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, fighting champions, you get a chance to get a perk. Or not a chance, but you definitely get a perk. When your essence increases, all enemies uh, decrease one power. Oh, interesting. Uh, see, so yeah, at seventh turn, deal 20 damage to all enemies. And when your health uh, reaches zero, you can heal for 10 activate once. Demons, that sounds pretty dope, actually. Let's do that. And then collect less, so now 28. That's a good amount to, to go to the merchant. So I'm not worried about going and uh, and you know doing more. I'm doing really well this run, actually. It's a shame I have to cut it off after this first boss. Um, so this young lady here, uh, if you look, there's like different like tiers here. Intimacy level, da 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 da. Now I've maxed it out. It was really easy to max out. I actually wish that there were more things to, to work on. Uh, but each one is a different pose. And you know, this is the first pose when we first get her and then she shows it and then she's kind of like, you know, hey sexy. And then and then I think after this, it kind of gets a little, a little too, uh, a little too, let me see, actually, let me see. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, you know, her skirt really wants to fly up. Uh, after this, though, she's basically naked, and by the fifth one, you guys are, like, making out every time you meet, so... <laughs> I wish they could, they increase it some more, though, because every time you increase your intimacy level, you actually decrease the cost of spells. Um, and it was too easy to, uh, to increase the, uh, the your intimacy level. Like, it was really easy. It took, like, no time at all. Uh, so these are spells you can buy. I'm going to so gain two defensive. Let me see. Hey, gain shield, 10 damage, target uh, power effects a spell four times. I don't have any power spells though. Um, this is a really powerful spell when you have power spells or things that increase your power. Seven damage target and draw some spells. Sadism, that's a pretty good card. Uh, let me see. 13. Weaken to all enemies. So, oh, it's a zero card. Hmm. And then get two random lust spells. That sounds pretty dope. Let's try that. And then we'll do 10 damage to all enemies. The final boss uh, this stage, I think there's like a couple different ones that you could get. I've had a, a few. It's not the same one every time, which is kind of nice, actually. Not having to fight the same boss every time. Um, but usually it's more than one, but I don't know if that's worth it. Let me see. Deal seven damage to target and draw one spells. But I mean, out of the rest of these, though, yeah, I think it's probably the best. It's two mana, and I start with four, so I can afford it. And then I can spend four to forget a spell, which is, again, very handy if you have, like, a spell that you're just, like, not going to use ever. Um, out of this stack, not really a whole lot. And maybe actually, uh... Maybe actually one of these mana shields. Because um, it is more opportunity to get another spell. I mean, it's the same thing with some of the uh, with a lot of these types of uh, deck builder games, like where you can uh, you want to eliminate some of your extra cards to increase the chances of getting um, good cards. All right, so this guy's we got six, twelve damage coming right out the gate here. Let me see. Uh, I actually don't have the ability to negate this this first round unless I can. Let me see, that'll be two, two, four. This will increase, decrease to make five or four. Let's see, four. Okay, cool, so it's the same either way. So we'll uh, pick on that guy. Let's go ahead and dust to lust here, whatever. Uh, heartbroken, extinct, oh, okay. So this card just basically does nothing. Uh, inflect, oh, hmm. Oh, risky, let's try it. Oh, it actually does damage, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let me see. Yeah, we're not gonna kill him, so I guess we should might as well try to do whatever we can to to do as much damage as we can while we're standing here. There you go. Yeah, we're not gonna negate everything. So the first damage of the run right there. <laughs> it's over, it's over. Oh, this is gonna die, cool. So do this. Now we can focus on this guy on the right because he's gonna die if he takes another swing. Uh, let's see, focus, there we go. So three damage. I don't have any heals uh, or any shields. Shields, shields, same thing. Um, good. And then this guy's gonna go down. This guy's going down with this. Defense is minus one. Cool. So now he's, uh, where's that at? Defense is minus one. Agile. Let's see. All shields are increased by current attack. Is that, that's, wait, is that bad, right? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so they have two and four. We're going to hit them with this. Weekend. He's going to still do some damage here. I don't want to necessarily take too much damage. Oh, wait. You know, I can actually. I could go and rest. Oh, you know, we'll skip the rest because I'll have to censor that. Um, cool. Yeah. Just know that when you go and rest. Oh, I can improve a card. 
Yes, that's what we'll do. Okay, so we do want to protect ourselves. Don't want to take any more damage if we could avoid it. Oh, I should have played that card first. The weakened card, uh, the damage cards should have played first. Because, you know, they're weakened the second you pass, cast that spell. So that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Sorry, comments. <laughs> that was a mistake. I'm sorry. I admit to it. Uh, three and two. Uh, let me see. I can't kill him just yet. Let me see. Oh, I still can't kill him. Oh, yeah, I can. I'm right there. Cool. Cool, cool. And then let me see. Bleeds, boy. We just go put all these bleeds on it. I uh, see six less. Sure. Okay, so we're gonna go to the rest. And then, son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, well, I, I will censor this. Because <laughs> it's just out there in the open. It's really hard to uh, to avoid this. So yeah, this is going to get censored. Um, so yeah, there's three things you could do. Uh, rest, you can rest, recover 20 HP. You can spend uh, deep rest. You could spend some essence in order to increase your HP by a significant amount. Usually this maxes it out, basically. Or you can improve a spell. So I'm going to improve a spell. Uh, it's funny how the mature content thing just does not work, like disabling that. Uh, I'm going to improve... Let me see... Uh, you get a preview, I think, right? Let me see. Uh, to improve lust spells. Oh, that's even more interesting. Dang. Let me see. And then... Hmm... Going into this last fight, I really want to... Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this one. Proof spell. There we go. She's not gonna masturbate about it, right? Okay, cool. Cause man, you never know, man. Sometimes they just do. Uh, I can actually forget another card if I want to, but I think I'm good to go. Let's go to the boss. Ah, the slaver. So, uh, this guy does summon uh, other mobs. So, other kidnappers here. So it's best to focus on him and just try to mitigate this guy as best you can. So let's uh, let's first let's play this. Heart attack deals 11 damage to target. That's pretty good. That's guaranteed damage. Uh, let me see. But orgasm. Let's get this thing rolling. I think this goes back in our deck. So, And that card is extinct, by the way. It goes in the extinct pile. I don't think I explained this. So whenever a card says extinct, that basically means it's not played for the rest of the turn. There are certain cards, though, that can resurrect those cards and bring and put them back in your deck, which is really nice. Um, let me see. So we'll play this. Uh, I see six damage coming in. We just got to play one of these. And then that's it. So uh, we'll just play this one. Then we're gonna go on injury, and then we're again we're just gonna focus on taking this guy down, and then everybody else will fall on the line. But he will try to summon another guy before uh, before I get him down. I'm fairly certain he will. Uh, what's his? Nut? He's a W. Okay, cool. So let's see. Uh, Twelve damage coming in. Let's go ahead and see what kind of cards we can get. Uh, injury. So we'll uh, yeah, we'll W this dude. This is basically free. Oh, I should have played that on this guy. Dang it. Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, here we go. Got another one. Cool. 4-2. <clears throat> that just means I just take less, uh, receive less damage here. Let me see. I'm going to keep on. Should I Wall of Ice or should I... Let's go Balls Deep. Let's go Balls Deep. Here we go. We'll just do damage. We'll just keep going. Take a little bit. Yeah, there's this third one. Okay, now, now we're going to start being a little more careful. <laughs> now we're going to play some more shield cards. Uh, 12 and... Uh, whoa, really? 12, 16 damage. Yikes. Okay, I think I have enough to play all of my damage cards. I'm not going to play this card here, so I'm going to go one, or all my uh, cards to protect myself. So W, W, this guy's going to be bleeding for a lot after this. Yeah, look at that. Jesus. Let me see. 10 damage all. So we'll chill. We'll chill dude on the uh, left. So now this is just, just 16 damage coming in. Um... We'll again stack another. Oh, she's gonna he's gonna bind me actually. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. Let me see. Uh we'll keep stacking this. So when you're bound, you'll see in a second here. I'm gonna play this too. Um So yeah, watch this. He's gonna he's gonna bind me here. If I had enough shield to negate this, then uh <clears throat> then I could, but I'm not I don't have the shield. So uh yeah, it's gonna he's gonna <laughs> There's different poses that you get, like, you know, sometimes just change you to the ground or whatever. Uh, so all this does is put extra cards, like dead weight cards, in your deck, right? And you have to throw them out in order to, uh, uh in order to free yourself. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. I think I can probably finish, uh, some dudes off. Uh, ooh, hmm. He's going to bleed, uh, so let's weaken you 
And then we're gonna, oh, here we go. Just to kill him. I should weaken this guy. Oh no, because I wouldn't have still wouldn't have done it. Let me see. Uh, please do damage. Nice, healed him up. Sweet. <laughs> Let's go ahead and focus on this guy, and then we can get rid of. I'll play all these cards. We're gonna take five damage, but that's okay. Let me see. Uh, see heart attack. See wall of ice. Now we're just gonna finish him off. Be done with him. Twelve damage coming in. Oof, man. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Uh, I see one, two, three. That's what we'll do. One, two. He has no bleeds on him, so you know. I don't want to necessarily push my luck. Negate all of it. Orgasm card. Oh, you're fucking done, dude. You're fucking done. He's got nine damage coming in, but he's gonna die. Let me see. Well, I'm actually waiting. I'm not. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, it can negate most. Oh yeah, and I have a plus one. Cool. So basically, bleed, bleed, orgasm, <laughs> and then uh. See eight, nine, yeah, I could play this too. And then he might actually die right here. And if not, I'll have enough shield to negate. Look at that. And that is the first level of Last Evil. <laughs> so I have a couple more cards here. Uh, it's pretty powerful. Drain 14 HP and uh, and target inflict four, three focusing. Uh, create one estrus. And so this is just basically free lust. It'd be nice to have both of these cards, right? Because you end up spending all of your lust trying to uh, gain essence. So it'd be nice to have both, but, um, you know, we can only choose one. So uh, we're going to end the video here, but just so you can see, we're going to do this and then we're going to get the next uh, thing here. Then we'll go to the next level. So we'll do, uh, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll cut it off here. Uh, let me see, Cherry Cake, Max HP... Plus 12, wow. Max Essence 10 at the start of each combat, gain one Immortal. That basically just keeps one card that is um, extinct, will not go extinct if you play it. Which, again, you can see, you've seen how powerful those cards can be. Um, very useful. Matter of fact, I will get that. Let me see. And then we can collect some Lust. And now this scene of, uh, this orgy scene is going to be added to my gallery. <laughs> so, we'll go to the title here. I'll, I'll be able to continue that later. Uh, that's Last Evil. Like, this is, again, it is a really, really solid, solid game. Um, I mean, read the reviews on Steam and they'll back this up. It's it's a game that you, 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 you're you like, oh, yeah, it's a hentai game. Maybe we get some cards, but we get some good, sexy, you know, anime, you know, hentai action. Um, but then you stay for the actual gameplay. I was just like, wow, I was really surprised. Uh, but the game is $9.99, so it's also a steal of a price. Uh, and you can check it out, it's on Steam. There's a, There are mods, there's just recently, just within the past month, they started doing uh, 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 opening up the mod manager for it and uh, have stuff a Steam Workshop. I imagine it's only a matter of time before he gets everything linked in, so you could just, uh, you don't need to use uh, uh, that uh, uh, Unity installer in order to install it, which is really easy to run, by the way. I just opened it up. It's in the, um, if you go to the mods, in some of the comments, they'll tell you where to go in the, in the forums if you want to download the mod thing. One of the mods actually unlocks the entire gallery, so if you just want to get in and just, like, view all the scenes, you can do that. <laughs> but I'd rather save it for the actual, for the game. Yeah, I want to, I want to earn those scenes. You know what I'm saying? I want to earn those scenes. Uh, but, dudes, that's it. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. The game is called Last Evil. I'm going to try my best not to get the thumbnail censored because that's what happens whenever I play games like this. The thumbnail is too sexy for YouTube. So we'll see what the thumbnail is going to look like. <laughs> Thanks for watching, dudes. Have a good one. Bye.